Hey everybody, it's uh, Phil from McBike here. I'm here with my daughter Fiona. We're going to go through a little bit of sizing kids' bikes for you, just give you some tips on how to go about it. Um, ideally, you know, we'd love to have you in at the store and meet your child, help them figure out the perfect bike for them. But if for whatever reason uh, you can't come into the store, or maybe you're trying to surprise your child, or see at home if their bike still fits them, these are some tips that can kind of help you out with that. Uh, so sizing for kids' bikes, first off, uh, starts. it's done by tire size. Uh, generally, we've got uh, a 12, uh, 14, 16, uh, then we go to 20, 24, and now we've even got junior bikes in 26-inch uh, wheel size, but there's also, of course, adult uh, frame sizes that start off in 26, and then going beyond that, there's a myriad of wheel sizes in adults. We're not going to get into that right now. So um, if you take your child's bike and you look on the uh, side of the wheel, you'll usually find a wheel size on it, something like uh, 16 by 1 or 24 by 2, something like that. So it's that first number that you're looking for. The 24 stands for a 24-inch round wheel. Um, but the more important thing that we're going to look at on a kid's bike isn't so much either your child's height or their age, um, we're going to look at what's called standover height, which is basically your child's inseam height. And that's the most important factor when you're trying to determine a bike size for your child. Um, you could take two kids the same height, and one's going to have longer legs and a higher inseam than the other. One might have a longer uh, reach. So, you know, those are important factors. And obviously, you can take a bunch of 10-year-olds, and they're all going to be different heights and sizes. So using age is a bit of a guideline and you'll notice that the chart that we have on our website includes height but the most our age but the most important factor is going to be inseam height so uh, I'm going to use Fiona here and we're going to show you how we size up a bike okay so for sizing your kids bike um, we've got here this is a awesome little kids bike uh, Norco Storm 4.1 uh, 24 inch wheel size um, you'll see on our chart it recommends for uh, my daughter's 10 um, and for a 10 year old it recommends either a 24 or a 26 so this is where this uh, height comes into play the, the length of the inseam so what we're doing is first I'll get you to swing your leg over the bike there Fiona what you want to do is you want to get your child to uh, swing their leg over the bike and stand over top of the bar so they're not standing over top of the they're not sitting on the seat and they're not standing over top of the seat and what we're looking for is that their feet are flat on the ground, on level ground, and that they still have space at the crotch between the crossbar and their crotch so that they can basically be safe on the, put their feet safely on the ground. Um, another great way to test this out is if you lift the bike up until the crossbar just contacts the crotch, you should have about an inch, inch and a half, half of space underneath that tire in an ideal world. Now, um, of course I know Lots of people like to get as much life as they can out of their bikes. Uh, kids are growing lots, all that sort of thing. So you can stretch that a bit, but you definitely do not want to be making contact with the, the crossbar or definitely not um, like having your child on their tippy toes. Can you open your tippy toes? So if their crotch is touching the crossbar like this and their feet are up on their tippy toes, that's really not a good situation. Um, you're better off that they're going to enjoy their experience on the bike than you get a bike that's too big and you know they're really going to struggle on it and not have as much fun. We want them to have a positive experience. So the way you can check this out without the bike, and that's what we're kind of talking a little bit about today, uh, you just want to swing off there Fiona. So um, what you can do is you can measure your child's inseam. That's what we're talking about for the standover height. So I'm just going to put this bike off to the side here. So an inseam length is measured. Just let's break your legs just a tiny bit. Um, is measured from the ground up to their crotch. Okay. So Fiona has an inseam length of about 25, 25 and a half inches. Now, if you take that information and you come into the store with it, or you call us up and let us know that, we can help you out and pick out a bike. And basically, what we're going to do is we're going to measure that same distance to the ground. To the crossbar and that'll let us know where they sit on there also you'll notice on our chart on our website if you go there um, it's got inseam length and that's the really important determining factor at this age to try and figure out the bike so this was a 24 inch wheel um, and it also recommended that possibly she might fit a 26 so I'm just going to grab a 26 uh, and we'll check that out for comparison 
So what we've got here, this is a, a giant ATX. This is a 26 inch wheel size adult bike. Um, once we get into adult bikes, we're generally dealing with frame sizes. So a 26 inch wheel bike, there's going to be, um, in many cases, a double extra small, extra small, small, medium, large, and extra large. So this is a double extra small. So this is the smallest adult bike that you can get. So we'll try Fiona out on this. If you want to swing your leg over top of that one. Okay, and you can see now um, she's contacting that top bar and her feet are not flat on the ground. So although that 24 inch was maybe pushing a tiny bit on the big side for ideal, she's definitely not in a safe riding position on this 26 inch bike. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys one more bike, give you a, an idea of what a bike that's too small fits like. Uh, so we've got this awesome Kona Hanzo 20, a uh, bit of a bike for a little bit more uh, adventurous of a rider. Got a nice lockout on the shock and some hydraulic disc brakes. Uh, Fiona's going to show you what this looks like on her. So you can see she can obviously straddle the bar still, get her feet flat. Uh, what's going to happen though is when we lift up that front wheel till it contacts her crotch, you can see we've got well over a foot of space under the under the tire. So that's your first indication that it's probably too big. And I'll just get you to have a seat there, Fiona. Or sorry, too small. Um, and then if she puts her feet on the pedals, so you can see the distance between her knee and the handlebars is really short. So it doesn't give her a lot of room to maneuver. It feels very cramped. And also if you bring your, she's got her foot right up at the top of the pedal stroke, maybe just pedal backwards a couple times. You can see how tight her knees come up into her body as well. It really cramps up the diaphragm, makes it tough to breathe. And so the whole cockpit is just really tight and, and snugged up. So they're going to have a hard time riding this bike comfortably and, and feeling secure and confident on it, even though it's too small. So you don't want to be too small, you don't want to be too big. Just like Goldilocks, we want to be right in the middle. Okay, so hopefully that gave you guys some uh, help on how to size up a kid's bike if you can't get your child into the store to check that out. Uh, thanks to Fiona for helping me out. Um, and, uh, and otherwise, yeah, if you can't bring your kid into the store or if you don't want to come into the store yourself, uh, you can always uh, give us a phone call, uh, you can hit us up on uh, Facebook Messenger, we're also happy to video chat with anybody so you can see what the different options are and what they look like. Um, and there's also of course our website, um, has most of our kids models that we carry, it's got a handy sizing chart on there and also links to all the different manufacturers. Uh, generally in kids bikes we carry uh, Norco, we carry Giant. Uh, and we carry Kona, three really awesome, reputable uh, bike manufacturers that we're super happy to be working with for so many years. And uh, yeah, so come in and check us out if you can. And if not, uh, give us a phone call. And uh, we hope to see you all well soon. Thanks.